This video will show you how to set up and use the Widmaster in just four easy steps. First, you'll plug in the equipment, then set the region of interest, set the waiver ID, and finally, read the image. Now for the first step, plugging in the equipment. First plug in the VGA cord and the power cable, located on the Widmaster's back panel. Next, plug in the USB cable that connects to the back of the Widmaster camera. You will also connect an outside mouse and keyboard to the Widmaster's additional USB ports. The Widmaster camera must be properly mounted for it to accurately read the image. Make sure to use a camera mount and tighten the mounting screw until the camera is firmly in place. If you try to use the camera without a camera mount, the image will be unreadable. Now that everything is plugged in, the Widmaster software should automatically load onto the monitor. The Widmaster is now running live video of the image and is ready for you to set the region of interest. This is the first screen you'll see when the Widmaster software loads. For an easy setup, first look to the bottom portion of the screen, find the word send, and locate the green arrow beneath it. Click on this arrow to enter the initial setup. In the bottom right corner of the screen, click on the bar that reads OCR BC412 and scroll up to Easy Setup. Now, to set the region of interest, slide the wafer until the barcode comes to the center of the image box. Then, simply click on the center of the barcode. This next screen is where you'll set the wafer ID. Right now, the software is set to read a 9-digit barcode. Each of the shaded boxes that indicate one of those digits now holds a star. That star means that the computer will assume that each of the digits can be any character, 0 through 9, A through Z. This gives you the widest range possible when reading your wafer ID. If, however, the software is having trouble reading one of those digits, you can help narrow the search by selecting specific characters. For example, let's say that you know that the last digit on this wafer is a number. Simply click on that last box, click Clear, and then find the 0 through 9 button in the top left-hand corner. The program now knows that the last digit is a number 0 through 9. Now that you've set the wafer ID, you can click Save and Exit. And in just three simple steps, the Widmaster software automatically reads the barcode. 